open your eyes, you feel that knife and there's right in the base of your spine. It's like, God damn it, I don't even want to be here. I don't even want to wake up, much less get up, stretch it out, and get on a fucking stage tonight, you know? I, I was, in a lot of ways, I needed a fucking break. And like I say, the 90s, there was no stopping anything. The more you take, the more it erodes the will, kills your true self, numbs it down, numbs it down, your emotions, everything, numb down. You gotta understand, man, when you are wounded and the only escape is either sleep or some sort of narcotic that is a shit existence man it sucks <laughs> I'll tell you and another thing that was frustrating for me was I was searching out any doctor that could possibly help me I remember being on tour being riddled with drugs but still getting up in the morning, getting in a cab, going to see some specialists who looked at me like I was out of my fucking mind. And then you bring up the word injured back. You bring up the word ruptured disc, and they look at you even colder like, you're fucked, man. You're fucked. And I'm talking about the middle 90s, where I damn well know. So I'm going to get fucking wasted like everybody else here today, so fucking ask for the drugs. And how quickly you can go from one pill to five pills to ten pills. There is a ladder, a gradual ladder of destruction going on inside of me. Like I say, very vulnerable, scared, easily coerced, weak, weak minded, completely different person. Such is the synthetic bullshit that drugs leave behind in your system, the residue. You know, no one thinks about that. No one puts all this together. It's 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 uh, a no-win situation for anyone, you know. So I think you know I, that my attitude on tour definitely wore on the other guys for sure. When especially when they looked to me to be the willful guy, the 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 stand-up guy, the, the tough guy of the band, for God's sake, whatever, I, the, the, the muscle. That, uh, and, and believe me, I saw this too. I, I noticed it all, and that adds to the shame of it all.
my, 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 I was ashamed, you know? I didn't never, never wanted to be seen as a symbol of weakness. It was totally counterproductive to my existence, therefore, the band's existence. Because whatever I, you know, you feel on the inside, you're going to project on the outside. Do I think it broke the band up? I think there was a lot of things uh, that, you know... It didn't help, I'll put it that way. train of thought that I just had in my head when I think about me projecting this ugly version of Phil and the distance that it caused the band at the same time we were growing into different people too no matter what I'm not a tit bar guy. I'm not a gambling casino loving guy. I don't, you know, it just it just does nothing nothing for me. You know, I, I it's just not my thing. Whereas the rest of the guys, tit clubs every night, gambling every night, strip club, strip club, strip club, party, and I couldn't do these things. I couldn't do it. I couldn't just hang out anymore. There was no hanging out for me, man. And the reason why, there was a knife driving into my spine. I couldn't do it. There's no fucking way I should have been. If I was going to do a side project, doing a record would be one thing. But there I was touring. And the whole idea behind this side band, Super Joint Ritual, was to get my ass out of the arenas and go feel what it's like to be back in the clubs again with that intimate gathering and uh, I love all that, you know, that's fine and dandy, but I shouldn't have been doing gigs to be, to begin with. And that's where the erosion of the will comes in. Can't say no. Hey man, we got this chance to do gigs. Where's Phil? Annihilated next, the next room. Go ask him if he wants to do some gigs. I don't care. Sure. Whatever. No will. No will. I was weak. Weak, weak, weak. And I could see where being in Pantera, watching this guy who was supposedly injured, too injured to continue with Pantera, sit here and do gig after gig with this fucking other band, I'd be pissed off too. And I get it. Do I have a excuse? Yeah, here's my excuse. I had no fucking will. I was an eroded, big, giant pussy being yanked around, jerked around, and allowing myself. Looks like a nail bomb inside of your body. Yeah, looks like crap. Not a neat job. 
What happens if you go for a detector of the airport? Zero, it's titanium. Really? Nah, it doesn't go off. Since I started using titanium. Oh. Okay, folks. I, I tell people, you know, you don't know chronic pain till you feel it for yourself and other people. You can describe your pain all day long, knife in the back, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But if they can't feel it, they're not going to understand what the fuck you're talking about. So there was this lack of understanding from them. And I guess I resented that. And then every excuse, every reason I gave for over drinking or pain pills or anything like that completely goes out of the fucking window the second the band finds out the hard way that I'd been doing heroin. Now there's no trust. Then there was no trust at all. That I understand. At the time, did I understand it? Not at all. But from seeing young people now struggling with drugs, and I, here I am, a veteran, a recovered drug addict, telling them every rule in the book, you know, okay, you can't do this, can't do this, can't do this, and then seeing them, walking them off clean and straight, go right back to the fucking drugs. You feel like you just wasted a great portion of your life. You can't do it. You can't make someone do it. So you can't, you know, it's got to be a personal choice to really want to uh, take control of your life back. I'm getting off the subject, but anyway. Vinnie Paul watched his own flesh and blood get shot multiple times right in front of his very eyes. I am in no way, shape, or form going to test nor judge what he is feeling inside. But I lost a brother too. But does the fact that I lost a brother too mean that he needs to act any other way than he's acting? I'm not sure. But I'll say this. I've said in numerous interviews that I think it would be so healthy, healthy for me, for Vince and Rex to sit down and not have this gigantic this gigantic separation to where there is absolutely no chance at healing. That to me feels unhealthy. To have a, a loose end in life, that feels wrong in, the, in, the, in my heart. Once again, I cannot think for Vince. Do I wish he'd want to sit down and speak with me? Of course. Dying for the guy to sit down with me. Matter of fact, I've even written in emails. You know, Vince, if it takes, if, you're, if it's just this wall of anger and you feel like you need to just beat me up, I'll let you. I'll let you just beat me up as long as we can sit down after and talk. Whatever it takes, man. So, you know, it is what it is. And I think, uh, my, just to wrap it up, really, I, 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 my door is always open. That's all I can say. Vinnie Paul wants to call this house, wants to 
get in touch with me who wants to talk about anything. If he wants to scream at me, whatever, he knows where to find me. And I wish it could happen. I really do. I really, really do. So anyone else out there that wishes Pantera would reunite or, or whatnot, you know, uh, better get in line. Because, you know, there isn't a day that goes by that I don't think about this very fucking thing. Okay, great. Um, don't get to spare time. I don't want to be I sit now with his hand in mine But I know we can't feel Expression 